Take your colored paper and fold it in half like always. Then using a pencil, just outline the shape that you want your purse, which it could be any shape that you want. Then we're going to cut the side. On the top part, this is very important, only cut about a third of the way. And repeat the process on the other side. We're doing this because we want to leave a strip of paper on the top, which will be your strap for the purse. I hope that made sense. <laughs> okay, so then what we're going to do next is unfold the paper, and the first layer of paper, you're going to cut that piece so that it's not attached to the paper anymore. Don't worry about the shape because you could always fix any parts that look messed up later. Okay, so the then on the back, the back piece of paper, all you need to do is cut it straight up, straight forward, whatever. Again, don't worry about the shape because we're going to fix it later. We just want to make sure that we actually have the strap first. So once you get something like this, what you're going to do next is fold that strap on the top of the card and figure out how big you want it, what shape you want it, and all that stuff which fits best for the card. So we're going to take the pencil again and again outline the shape that you want, which can be anything. It all depends. And we cut it out. So this is what I have. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> and then next we're going to mark the places that you want to punch your holes. And using your hole punchner, you punch the holes. Okay, then taking a piece of wire, I bent, I held it with my finger, and then I bent it diagonally inward, if that makes sense, to create um, half a heart. You could use pliers um, or your fingers. Pliers hurt less because wire kind of pokes you. Okay, so that's half the heart. Then taking my fingers, I just bent the wire upwards using the same metal stick, which you could use anything. You could use a pencil. And I curved it again and then brought the wire down. So it's a heart with a stick down the middle. So after you finish both of them, take the stick, the long stick that's left, using a plier, wrap that into a circle so that it's surrounding the other s little stick of wire. You're going to open that, place that through the hole, and then lock it back inside the circle. This is going to secure the heart and make sure that doesn't fall and stuff like that because you don't want to make a metal heart and then have it fall I mean, okay <laughs> next um, I'm taking this decoration which I don't know what it's called I just called it a ball string chain thing and we're gonna measure how we want it, how long we want it and then cut it a little bit longer always cut a little bit longer that way you're sure that you're gonna have it the right size so I just knotted it and attached it to the wire hearts. You could use ribbon or paper or anything really. Then I took another um, piece of wire and I wrapped it around this glitter bottle. You could use whatever you want. Anything that's in the shape of a circle. Then I pinched the sides and this is to make the little belt buckle. So I pinched the sides and on the top I just bent it down so the top is flat. And with the extra piece, I twisted it to close it. Then I brought it around to the left side and I brought it down to have that middle piece that belt buckles have 
Yeah. I really hope it makes sense. And the leftover wire, I just wrapped it around so that it was secure. So figure out where you want to place the little belt buckle. Then using glue, obviously, we're going to glue <laughs> the belt buckle. And make sure to place it right. This might take it. Mine kept like moving around. Then I took a, um, a piece of string that was th almost the same color as my purse. Just to kind of cover the wire so it doesn't really look like... Ooh, when you flip it over, it doesn't look like a piece of wire <laughs> glued. Okay, then I took another piece of um, paper, a little strip of paper, and I placed where I want to decorate my purse. And then I marked where I wanted to cut it. It's just a pinky, peachy color. And I glued it. Um, then I used this acrylic white paint with a paintbrush and I made little stitchings. I took another strip of paper and I glued it to the bottom. Okay, and then I took another strip of paper. Lots of strips of paper. Okay. And this is just to hold the strap. We're going to glue the ends onto the card. And for decoration, I use the same uh, ball thing. I cut it into a set of two and placed the twos <laughs> onto the side. I just glued them there to make it look prettier. Yeah, pliers help a lot. Okay? So, if you're going to do that, you probably want to decorate your strap um, before you do what I just did, but I was kind of dumb. So, I just put a strap of paper through the middle, put a ball chain thing um, there, and then I did white stitching again, and later on I glued the little rose. For the back, I just put another piece of strip of paper, did the same decoration as the front. I used a pen to do the little zippers, and I made another heart to make the um, zipper closer thing. And then I cut out a piece of cardboard with another strip of paper to make a little tag. And I glued it. I put it through the heart, and then I glued it in the back like so it just has more of a detail it's it's super cute so then I used a marker just to add a little bit of depth make it more real looking and in the middle I didn't do anything cuz I really didn't know who I was gonna give this to so you could just cut out piece of paper write whatever you want do what you want or put a gift card if you want to and this is the final result. I hope you guys like this. And let me know if you guys do this. I'd love to see pictures.